Hi, tonight I am making um, homemade tomato basil soup in the Paper Chef Deluxe Cooking Blender. Um, I've got it set up here with my blender container and then um, the, the pitcher's here, but then the base is over there, so I'll have to carry you over there in just a little bit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show a couple of items that are my favorites. So the first thing I want to show is our little cooking guide. This comes with the blender when you order it. And I'm going to be using the soup setting. It has all of these recipes plus a couple of more. Um, and what you do is you just follow, like it says liquids, you put that in first, and then it's your seasoning, you put that in next, and then your vegetables, and you put it, that in, and then add-ins is for the next part of it, which we won't have any add-ins. Um, actually, it calls for the basil to add in, but that won't take very long. We'll just have to pulse it. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get started. I will talk to you for a minute about the pitcher. It measures seven cups cold liquid six cups hot liquid. It is tempered glass, so it will not shatter. Um, if it gets um, cold water in it when it's hot, it will not shatter, so um, that's pretty handy. But um, it also has the liter measurements on the other side. It does have um, those bl the blades in there. The heating element is also it's right here and so it will cook we have our little lid it looks like everybody else's blender lid you know it slides on the lid the little top is vented so even when you close it and put it on it's vented underneath and so it's going to allow some steam to escape um, it gets a good seal on it so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm going to start with chicken broth. This is our silicone prep bowl. It's the one cup. These come in a set of three, a one cup, two cup, and a three cup. They are heat safe. They are freezer safe, I believe. Um, and this one, the one cup, starts with a quarter cup measurement and goes up to a full cup. These I really like. You can see I can manip manipulate it, squeeze it. It is silicone. It's a soft silicone. And I like it because you can put it in the microwave to soften butter, cream cheese, melt chocolate, that kind of thing, and it won't burn you when you pull it out. I can touch it just like this and pull it out um, when it's been in the microwave. I'm trying to remember, earlier today I baked bread and I scalded some milk and I poured it in one of these and I was able to lift scalding hot milk with my hand in this container and not have to have a pot holder or anything. So these are really cool. They nest with the lids on so that you only have one little container is what it looks to be in your cabinet when actually there's three. So um, I've been told by other customers that it is good for uh, their family members with arthritis. And so because you can grip it better, it, it fits your hand. Has a little pour spout, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and pour our liquid in and then I'm going to add seasoning the only seasoning it calls for is salt right now only powdered seasoning I'm going to use it calls for a teaspoon I'm going to use our um, adjustable measuring spoon these come in a set of two the guards pop off for easy washing that's really nice this is like my third set of these in 20 years. I love them. Um, the only thing that has changed is the color. They used to be solid white and now they're clear with a black top. So it calls for a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna do a salt and pepper mixture that we use here at home a lot. And it's just equal parts and it's got a little bit of garlic in it to get a little bit more flavor than just salt. I'm not a salt fan. So the next thing that we add in is our tomatoes and I have already wedged, I'm not gonna peel them. I'm wedging them. This little item is discontinued. You can't see very good. It's our veggie wedger and it's been discontinued but it's too neat to not use so it's too handy. 
when this is all I need it for. So I'm just gonna put that in there. It's too bad that is discontinued, right? Um, because look at those perfect little tomato wedges. It didn't smash it. They were perfect. So, um, and very little juice, very little juice. So it didn't crush the tomato, um, didn't juice it. It was, it is perfect. So I really hate that they discontinued that item. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, it also called for a can of tomatoes. So I'm gonna put my can of tomatoes in there. Put this over here. And now I'm gonna do an onion. I'm going to um, just chunky chop it on our flexible cutting mat using our coated um, I think it's a utility knife. It might be a chef's knife. I don't remember. Um, it is my favorite knife because it fits my hand well. It's not too heavy. We do have another set of knives that I don't, I don't care for as well because I don't like how it feels in my hand. Um, I have really small hands and they're really heavy knives and I just don't like it. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to, it calls for a half of one, so I'm just gonna wedge those like that and drop them in just like that. And you're thinking I'm crazy for putting such big chunks in there, but I saw this done, I saw this demoed at card conference this summer when they were first showing us the blender. And as they were doing like potato soup and they were just quartering potatoes and putting them in there and they weren't, it, no, not peeling them, anything. It was just um, chunking them in there. And so that's what I'm gonna do and it's gonna work. I did it last night with, um, hmm, with um, butternut squash. We made butternut squash soup last night and we just chunked them into like one inch square cubes and put them in there. So, uh, and it was perfect. So I'm gonna use my adjustable, um, measuring spoon at the two teaspoon I don't have any fresh garlic cloves I usually do and I don't have any today so a little tip um, one fresh garlic clove is equivalent to one teaspoon of minced garlic and so I'm gonna do two. Oh my goodness my garlic's frozen <laughs> that tells you how often I use this garlic and we like garlic so I'm not gonna level that off so that was two teaspoons of minced garlic. It would be two cloves of regular fresh garlic. All right, so now I'm gonna carry, actually I'm gonna put the lid on, just like this. So there you go. I'm hopeful that this will be enough. It doesn't say, how many servings are gonna be in here? I hope it's more than one. So I'm gonna carry you and my pitcher over here to the blender where the base is. And I'm gonna set it on here. Okay, so my lid's on my vented lid here is closed so there's a switch on the side and I'm going to turn it on and I'm gonna lift this up to try to show you here um, here are the settings on our blender we have a smoothie setting an alternate milk a grind a heated wash soup heated puree jam and sauce setting and then a regular pulse and so what we're gonna use obviously today is the soup setting I'm just gonna turn that dial and then I'm going to push start. And it'll have to warm up. And I'll show you that too. So the number there is showing what temperature it's at right now. So it's 66 degrees. Um, it's also It also says right here heat and this is going around so it is in the process of doing what it's supposed to. It's warming up. 
if you are familiar with the um, instant pots, they all have that. We have a Pampered Chef pressure cooker as well. That is our quick cooker. And it does that little loading thing also. So, um, while we're waiting on that, because I want you to be able to see it when it warms up, you can see it boiling and I want you to be able to see that. So, while it's warming and getting ready, I want to show you this ladle came out this summer with the cooker. It doesn't come with it, with the cooking blender. It does not come with, it's just um, another product that we came out with this summer. Um, and it is a straining ladle. So if you do it this side, like you have, um, say, vegetable soup, and you don't you want more vegetable than soup, or you've got a pot of beans and you want more bean than soup, um, ladle it out with this side and tip it, and it's going to strain some of the liquid off. And then on this side is your little pour spout. So that's pretty nice. Heavy. It's got a long handle and it's a deep well on the bowl for on the ladle so um, you can get a good serving of soup and you're you can dip it way down dip into the bottom of the pot um, so that's a really nice item that complements our blender um, if you were paying attention when I was talking about our settings you may have heard me say that it has a heated wash setting and that is probably the most fantastic thing about this blender because once you do this and it's dirty and you're done and you don't want to wash dishes, you just pop this baby over to the sink. You put three cups of water and three drops of dish soap, bring it back over to the base, turn it back on and put it to the heated wash setting. It takes two minutes and it's done and it's washed and then you just rinse the soap out and it is literally done it's clean um, and it gets to like 200 degrees so you know that it sanitized it it's it's clean um, so that's really nice a nice feature on this blender um, we're gonna I am gonna bring this little book over and talk to you about it while this is cooking so I'm gonna talk to you about the different things that we can do with our blender and the different things that it comes with and I don't have it have them with, with me right now um, it does come with a boil over guard and so um, if you are cooking in a high altitude you can use this and it will keep it from boiling over out the top of this vented lid um, it does have a tamper it has a little cleaning brush in case um, the blades don't get clean as good as you want it to. When you do dairy-based soup or creamy, anything creamy in it, it will scorch to the bottom and it does require a little bit of, of, clean, of hand cleaning. And that brush is perfect for getting under those um, tines in there. So we also have a um, straining bag. We have, I'm trying to see what else is here that is different. Um, a noise reducing motor plug replacement. There is a, no a noise reducer in there because as you can tell it is a little bit noisy. Um, it is starting to get warm in it because I can I can hear it getting ready to boil um, and that's really neat to listen to. So I'm going to flip through and show you. It talks about how to use the accessories, how do I wash my pitcher, um, starter recipes, a smoothie and a soup, um, sweet potato soup. You've got your smoothie setting. You've got a couple of different recipes and just like with the soup over here, you're, you've got your basic smoothie recipes. But what is really cool is that these are smoothie bowls. So it's like a bowl of ice cream, but it's a smoothie. That would be great for breakfast. We have an alternate milk setting. So if you have a family member, a child, or yourself um, that is um, non-dairy, and my camera looks like it's frozen, so I don't know if you can see or not. Um, but anyway, it has a alternate milk setting. So you can do almond, cashew, coconut, a combination of macadamia and oat milk and a rice milk. That's what the strainer bag's for. 
Here's a recipe for horchata. We have a grind setting where you can do um, nut butters if you have a peanut allergy or a tree nut allergy. We've got almond butter, cashew butter. You can do your own peanut butter, um, sunflower seed butter. And what I really like about these butters is you can refrigerate them for four to six weeks and they stay good and I've, I've done it. I promise that's true. Um, you also um, have the option to not have preservatives and stuff in it. It's just your oil, your seasoning, and your nuts. And so it's that easy. Um, a few recipes with that. Dips and hummus. There is a recipe for homemade hummus and there's some ideas for add-ins. Here's my soups. I'm gonna skip past the soup recipes. There's a sauce. A heated puree for different sauces that's great for baby food the heated puree this sauce is for gravies um, a nacho cheese sauce right here perfect and then also the jam setting where we can do homemade jams and jellies and that I did peach jelly quite a bit this summer or peach sauce and it was delicious um, and then your custom blend where you can do your adult beverages and um, milkshakes, ice cream, different things like that. So this comes with every blender, which is really nice that you have that option of some ideas before you ever get started with it. So what I want to talk about with the blender now is cost because you're going to say that things got to be expensive, right? And it is a little pricey um, to purchase full price. It's $349, but you can always host a show and get it for half price. If you have a qualified show with $200 in sales, that's an easy way to get this for half the cost. You can, um, right now in January, it's a host is special, so you get an extra 10% off. So you get 60% off, which makes it $139.40 as opposed to $349. So you're getting $200 off um, if you host a show that reaches $200 in sales. So that's an idea. The best option that we have is for this month only. Only this month. It is, it is featured in a new consultant kit that has the blender, it has those flexible cutting mats that I showed you, it has the knife, it has um, a juicer, a can opener, a garlic press, and I think that might be all, I'm not positive, but it has enough items that the other items without the blender at regular retail sale, would sale pricing would be $118. $118 for just those items, not counting the blender. The kit with the blender and those $118 worth of items is $129. So you would get the blender plus all of those other items. You're going to get the blender for $11. And that is an incredible, incredible deal. So if you would be in the slightest bit interested in this blender and in letting it pay for itself in about a month's time by host or doing a couple, not, not even hosting, but con doing a few shows, maybe even just two as a consultant, I will guide you through it. I will help you. I will do your first one for you. And you're going to get this blender and the rest of the items in that kit for $129. And there's no selling minimum right now. You don't, you don't have to. Um, there is a selling minimum per month if you choose to sell. Um, but there's no requirement right now that you sell X amount of dollars to fulfill your contract. There's not anything like that. Um, if you choose not to sell, you just eventually become inactive and you don't, you're not a consultant anymore. Um, so there's no obligations. I like to see consultants at least try for 30 days. Just give it 30 days. That's not a lot of time. Um, and see if you like it. You might surprise yourself. So, um, 
if that's something you're interested in, maybe getting that kit um, for $129 with this blender in it, then uh, send me a message or a text if you have my number and I will be happy to help you get started with it. I'm gonna show you now. I don't know if I can show you now because it still shows me that my screen is frozen. But we're at 172 degrees. We're still blending some. And I'm hoping that you can see, can you hear it? That's the heat, the heat rising up inside and you can see it kind of pulsing in here. Um, you can see it and it's gonna blend some more. It is still loading, it's still heating, it's not fully warm yet. Um, so, while you're watching this, I hope, I'm going to go get my basil. Oh, it shows me that you're looking at the blender now, so that's always good. Um, it calls for a fourth of a cup of basil. I don't know that I want to add that much, so I'm going to go with about an eighth. I don't know. About an eighth of a cup instead. So the reason I'm getting this out right now is because it is um, an add-in. So once it's finished cooking, oh, I can see it. You see it boiling in there? Is that not incredible? It's incredible. And I've, I've heard of people, you know, who had a Ninja or um, the Cuisinart or some of those nicer ones and they are getting rid of them because of the different things that this can do. I mean, it can, it has a grind setting. It can grind it. You can make nut flowers out of it or with it. Um, it's crazy what it can do and then it cleans itself. So that to me is enough. But anyway, um, once it reaches um, a certain point, and I don't remember what it will tell me. It may tell me that it's done I will push cancel and then I'm going to take the little vented cap off and I'll add my basil and then I will just pulse it um, to just enough to make sure that that basil is in there. Um, that's really boiling. <laughs> well, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> you can see the steam coming out of the vented lid, but watch that soup. Is that not incredible? If that was on my stovetop, it would be all over the place. And you can see it's 199 degrees. It is still heating. So it will get even warmer than that. Um, 200 degrees now. So um, this particular soup, um, in our little book, our guide, it tells us the nutritional values. So a cup of this soup has 65 calories, and that, I mean, hey, <laughs> you can't hardly go wrong with that, except that I'm going to eat my homemade bread that I made this afternoon with it, so that could kind of be a little wrong, but, you know, you have to indulge some, right? So we're going on 25 minutes and it really should probably be done pretty soon. I, it doesn't tell me how long. Um, <laughs> that's making a lot of noise. Um, it doesn't really tell me how long it's going to cook, but my, but 
minute squash that I did yesterday was done in 30 minutes. And so um, I don't imagine that it would take much longer than that. But it might, I don't know. I'm not planning on keeping you here a whole lot longer. Um, I was hoping it would be, you know, a less than 30 minute video. Um, but I was gonna tell you, one of the recipes is for muscle, mushroom bisque. And I think that would be so good in a bread bowl. I just, I've never had mushroom bisque, but I like mushrooms and I like bisque. I like thick, creamy soups. And so in a bread bowl, I think that'd be really, really good. Okay, so this does say, I just now saw it, I glanced over and saw it, it does say 30 minutes. So it should be done very soon. Um, and like I was saying earlier, um, our hostess special this month for January is the blender um, for 60% off or our quick cooker, which I showed it for just a half a second while ago. Um, this is the Pamper Chef. Um, Mm hmm yeah what is it I'm <laughs> sorry <laughs> I got distracted um, it is our pressure cooker it's called the quick cooker and the reason I got distracted is because we are up to full temperature now and it's telling me 15 minutes and I'm not gonna make you guys wait that long um, but I did want to tell you that the blender the quick cooker you would have your choice if you had a $200 show uh, in sales um, that would be a qualified show, and you could choose from the blender or the quick cooker, or we have a wok, a stainless steel non-stick wok that is incredible. Um, we have a double burner grill pan. Those two are also part of the choice, one of the choices. And then the fifth one is our rock crock with the slow cooker stand. So you could choose one of those five items for 60% off. Then you would also get an additional for half price of anything in the catalog, any item of your choice for half price. And then you also get a $20 um, shopping credit. So that's all for having a party that qualifies with $200 in sales. Of every $100 after that, you get additional benefits. So, um, if you would like to host a January show, then get in contact with me soon. My weekends are full. I can do an in-home during the week um, on a weeknight. Um, and I can do virtual parties at any time. And those are done completely on Facebook. And they're very easy. They last about a week. And um, I'd be happy to do that at any time. So, um just send me a message or a text or get in touch with me somehow if you're interested in that or if you're interested in purchasing this as a kit um, to get started with a little side gig of your own that is super easy super fun um, and I will help you through it all the way so anyways I will let you know how my soup turns out here in about 15 minutes Bye.